So a few days have passed and we have amassed a fair amount of money from the sale of weapons and copper. However, we're still short of food. I've left Hammett behind. He is continuing to make garless katanas for us, but the rest of us are setting out, heading back to our daily chores. For the most of us, I've decided I'm going to spend some of our cats hiring a bit more muscle. We're able to deal with the everyday hungry bandit gangs these, time, these days, but we still suffer at the hands of particularly the Holy Nation. So I'm going to go and see if I can't hire two or three more Sheik and Squin, but everyone else is going to continue their normal daily work. Let's see. I think we'll have Dijon. Yeah, just operate this copper resource. That will be fine. Telamina, you go to the iron refinery. Ruka. I think we'll have you work the refinery as well. Now, can we have three people work it? No, we can't. Okay then, Ruka, change of plan. You go and mine iron for us. Mito, you head over to the fields. Mito isn't here. Did he stay behind? I think he did. Take you off cooking stove. Bean sprout. You go and mine iron. Hamet's busy. And Miu, you can go and work the fields as well. So I'll head over in this direction too. And Ten Bones, you're guarding Bean Sprout for the moment. Now, Muto, I want you over here, concentrating on their fields. Still have the victims from our most recent run-in with the Hungry Bandits. And we have our fourth field here. But let's get on the way over here to Squin. It should be fast enough to outrun any dangers I might encounter on the way. Back here, Dijol. You already have some copper that was left over from our work yesterday. We did have to leave in a bit of a rush. Leaving some of our goods behind. And Ruka... Let's put your backpack on. In the fields here, we do have 20 cactus there, so you take them, empty that field. And could you actually come and build this other field? Let's get it upgraded. We could upgrade. Are you ready at adding materials? Okay, let's have you add that as a job. Muto also. And we can upgrade it. Once more, I believe. It means our harvest is going to be a bit poorer. But 
we do need the extra field. Now that we've got more mouths to feed, we find that our chew sticks don't last quite as long as they used to. I have already reached the outskirts of Squin. I'm faster than I believed. Trying to remember, I'm fairly sure there was a skilled Sheikh warrior willing to join us. Cannot remember his name. Hopefully we'll find him in one of the bars. Let's see. Rain the Giant. You do have Looks like a decent attack and defence skill. Let's have a conversation, Rain. I am a warrior. I... I know how to handle myself in a fight. And you enjoy me for seven and a half thousand cats. Tell me, what skills do you have? One of the best in the land. Okay, well, I'm willing to give you your seven and a half thousand. Let's see. Okay. Good with heavy weapons and katanas. You use a longsword. Interesting. And who do we have here? Uh, not someone I can talk to. How about you? No. Is there anyone on the upper floor? The Drifter and uh, Flotsam Ninjas Pacifier. Okay, well, Rain, let's see if we can't find. Who's this? Kang. Also looks like a warrior. Looking for protection. Not so much protection, and more offering opportunities. How skilled are you? Ha! <laughs> you could crack my skull with ease, I do not doubt it. 6,000 cats? Well, yes, I'm happy to accept that. And let's see how you look. You have a horse chopper. Okay, this has been successful. There's also Greasepot, who does not appear to have the same level of skill, but I am potentially willing to recruit you. 3,000 cats, that sounds good to me. So welcome, my comrades. Let's head out and I will take you back to what is going to be the preeminent trading town in the whole of Kenshi. Everyone does carry a weapon. Not everyone wears armour, but that may well be personal choice. So let's head back over to our outpost and let's see how things progress. Just in time for Dejol to empty the copper node. Ruka, this should be being emptied automatically, transported into our iron refinery and Telamina. We take those plates as well. Okay. This field will be ready to harvest soon enough. Muto, take those. Seven percent. It is growing. 
Everything is well watered. Okay, then Mutal. You work this well. And Mew, you work here. Hamet. Yes, you have finished. Ah, that's a good thing. So the quality of the blades that Hammett produces has increased. It is now old refitted blade worth 13 and a half hundred cats. Well, let's have you come down actually trade with um, Telamina. And that should give you the iron plates you need to come back up and continue crafting the weapons. Two of our comrades seem to have gone missing. No, they're ahead of us. They are fast. Okay, we have a decent amount of water. Uh, I think we'll bring some of the water back up to the hub with us. Uh, we don't have very many cacti. We have 24, so that's enough for three chew sticks, I believe. And we've got three barrels of water, I think, up in the hub. I thought that was bandits. Greetings, and uh, Hamut has arrived and taken Possession of the iron plates and trade weapons. So, this is mid grade salvage, and that's the rusted junk. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to stay around here and I'll work the farms. Might be ready to harvest before the end of the day. You three, head over here, introduce yourself to Dejol. And I think we'll assign one of you to work with Dejol at that copper. One, perhaps, to work at the iron and one at the stone mine. We don't have any stone stored there at the moment. And actually, these I think both of these can now be upgraded. That can, as can that. This requires iron plates. And this requires building material. So we'll upgrade our stone mine on our next trip out. Okay. Rain the Giant, you get to work here and that is the maximum number of people that can work the node. We'll have Kang work at the iron and this grease pot, I believe. Yes, you go main stone for now. Okay, our band is growing quite a good rate, actually. And over here, I thought that person was moving there. But no, it must be a corpses. While I'm here, I may as well move these. Um, let's relieve him of his weapon, first of all. And then we'll move the body, put it over here. Okay. And let's come a bit closer, make this easier for ourselves. Put down. We'll 
do the same here. Take the club, pick him up, and we'll take him over and dump him by his comrade. Sign of any bandits today. We were attacked by three groups of hungry bandits a day or two ago in quick succession. Pick him up. No sign of Holy Nation or any other bandit demands. Come over here and Put him down. I guess this field is ripe for harvest. It is. Okay. You come and help. And this farm here is grown. Output is full. Ah. Okay, well, in that case, metal, you should take those. Dijon. Again, take the copper. And take Lamina, you hunger. Yes. Well, hopefully, uh, maybe I should have picked up some food while we were in Squin. And hopefully the barman in the hub will have sufficient for us. Metal, gather those. So actually, we'll have a decent number of cacti. 46 still to harvest. 29 here. Yeah, so we should have enough to make a couple of days worth of chew sticks, I would hope. As long as we are given the time to harvest them. Let's take the copper for now, but I wanted to actually check uh, Rain, his strength and his athletics could be improved. King, the same, but Greasepot will definitely need some training. So Grease pot. If you could come and take a backpack. See from uh, Ruka. Yeah, you take Ruka's. Um, take Ruka's backpack, and then you can load that up with copper. And that will help to build your strength. There we go. And head over there. Sort of weapon do you have? You have a katana. Okay, well, Hamit will be able to supply you with a better blade when we get back to the hub later today. And I want you to take this from Dijol. And any more copper that might be here. There we go. And you have a nice heavy load. You can get back to your business. Okay, that's fine. Muto. 
let's grab these. Still 17 to collect there. 16 already here, with 13 in the ground. Okay, and I think once you're done, Muto, I think we'll have you head back up to the hub. Hammett is here. I had thought you would have gone back up. Oh, you've run out of iron, it seems. That's highly unlikely. Hmm. Uh, but yes, I'm going to send Muto back up to begin cooking once we have all of the cactus that we can harvest. Take those and that field is clear. Once I've finished in the fields, I'll work this well. Uh, Muto, take these. And Miu, you can work that well. Okay, Muto. Let's have you take these and one more, hopefully. Yes. And now if we follow Hammett back here and Muto, let's get you back on the stove. And we have two sticks queued up and we have three barrels of water, so all should be well there. You have actually produced another two blades in the time that you were up here. Your weaponsmith skill has certainly improved. Okay, and tell me that. Let's see, I don't know if we'll stay too much longer here. I think I would like to get back up to the hub, but we'll let Muto get some time in cooking. And actually, let's come over and get rid of these corpses again. Attack this guy, finish him off. He was moving earlier after all. My martial arts skill is slowly improving. Particularly good against helpless opponents. Come back here, let's come off jobs for now. Again, take the club, pick up his corpse. And hopefully this will get rid of those annoying flies. I believe there is one more. Just here. Let's pick up. Corpses can attract animals. Bone dogs would be a problem uh, if a pack of those beasts were to show up. Is this Hammett coming back again? It is. Looking for more iron.
uh, trade with Telamina. I'm impressed by how quickly you're going through these iron plates. And take those also. That's not Grease Pot. Ah, you are working. I thought you had stopped working there. You have plenty of space. We'll have you work the stone processor once the quarry is filled. And Muto, you are operating machine. Actually, why don't you deposit the cacti in the storage barrel so that you're not as encumbered? There you go. Cooking skill of 45. How much? And we've got plenty of water actually stacked here. And forgotten that. Hamid is in trouble. Hmm, okay. I'll ditch that. And let's have you try and make a run for it back down in this direction. We will have Dijon and Arain the Giant come to your aid. And why not have everyone come and help? Everyone who's relatively near, of course. Dijon, let's take this off. You don't have backpacks. And Hammett is down. For the moment, uh, stay down, actually, Hammett. Here comes Telamina. So I'm glad that we did hire some more Sheik. How many uh, bandits are there? Oh, and Rain was down, having taken damage to the chest. Well, I think. We'll actually settle for that for the night. Let's all head back up to the hub. Yes. That's enough work for today. And who is this here? Muto. I guess Muto is coming out to help his comrades as well. Well, everyone head back into the base. I'm going to, uh, with Grease Pot, I'm going to stop off in the bar. Grease Pot can sell off the copper that she carries. We have a, a creature here. Who's this? Ten bones. Attack that hungry bandit. If you bite off a limb, you can eat it. There we go. And I'm going to take his weapon. Okay, so we still have 15,000 cats. And obviously we're going to make a decent amount of money from our copper. Hello Barman, back with some of the usual fare. Iron sticks and some copper. 
19 and a half thousand. We don't have an awful lot of food. We'll buy what you have. And the bread also, and the food cube is expensive. I think we'll probably do without that. Um, we will take the iron plates though. Go and put them to good use. Come, grease pot. And welcome to our new home. Temporary home. There we go. So hopefully no one will go hungry. Hammett, let's have you actually we're going to make use of this small shack again. So Hammett, you come over there. And who else? Rain, you come here too. You guys shouldn't be on ranged. Okay, Hammett. Grab some sleep. Rain, do the same. And others can sleep outside as need be. Mew is fine. Grease pot is fine. Ruka, yeah. Have a bit of a sleep. Dijol, you took some damage. Okay. So, who do we have left? Geesepot, you'll be pleased to know that you get to fill up your backpack. Oh, we don't actually have any more there. Well, how about taking up this water? There we go, a nice heavy load for you. Let's all head out. And you too, Telamina. And we can train where the others either sleep or work. <laughs> nice try, Grease Pot. Get out here. And we'll have everyone run at their own pace. Or walk at their own pace, depending how heavy the load is. Grease Pot. Athletics is 3. Your strength is going to improve tremendously. Given time. And so that is how we will spend the night. Hopefully by morning Hammett will have cooked up enough chew sticks to keep everyone fed. And those of us who were wounded in the battle will recover. Muto, no need to run down and get water, which I think is what you were about. Take two barrels there. That should be enough. And we can add them into the stove and you can continue to cook. Leave the running to us. <laughs>